Hi, my friends. Sandra from 4UG.com. We're here today with your weekly tarot and oracle card reading with me for August the 30th through September 6th of 2021. Thank you all for being here. And this is a long three-day weekend. I hope you fill it with fun and joy with those that you love. I'm in the middle of uploading all my September forecasts, so look for those soon. We start off the week pretty good here. We've got a Overall, we've got a good week. Listen, we've had a lot of harsh week, weeks, a lot of harsh energy. I'm hearing bits and pieces from all of you that very weird, unexpected things are happening, which is predicted in the astrology, especially if you follow the Leo King like I do. But it appears that we have a little break in the clouds here. Let's hope that it continues for us as a collective. Monday, Tuesday, Foundations and Achievements. This is my Ten of Cups card in traditional tarot for me as a reader. And this means happy life, happy family. If you are looking to purchase real estate, you could put an offer in or your offer could be accepted or you could be selling your home and buying a new one. I found this very interesting here stay optimistic this is my card from the mermaids and dolphins deck that means don't quit five minutes before the miracle the bottom of this card says your dreams are coming true don't quit right before the miracle occurs now what's interesting and i don't normally do this i know other youtube readers do they pick out certain things in the cards and there's a message based on the picture, right? But I was specifically drawn to look at the way that all of these people are facing in both of these cards. They are looking away, right? Which means that they're not focused on the future. They're, they're looking to the focus on the present, pardon me. There's something to be said about being in the present moment. So whatever you can do to be in this present moment right now, whether that is, you know, affirmations of gratitude, I feel like that's going to speed up this manifestation process and solidify what you're trying to do here in this uh, first part of the week. Tarot card for Wednesday, Thursday, we have balance. Balance suggests that something is out of balance and needs to be rectified. So whatever that is, if you're not getting enough rest, if you're not getting enough, you know, R&R time, or maybe it's the opposite, maybe you need to add in some exercise, diet, whatever it is, it needs to be addressed midweek. And it could be that your household is out of balance too, right? Your members of your household, your family, and if you are the matriarch, you're going to want to get on that, especially as the uh, start of the school season is here. Okay, we have alchemy here for the midweek. Now, it's going to be very important for you to balance out the scales because this card says... You being on top of your game midweek is going to cause everything you touch to turn to gold. Now, what a message, right? For the collective, especially. The bottom of this card says just that you have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. Well, that requires a certain amount of energy. So, if you are not rested up, you are not going to have the energy that's required to do that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, conflict and defeat. This means walk away from arguments, as you all know. I think we pull this card more often than we don't. Walk away from the person that's trying to pick a fight from you with you. It is not going to serve either one of you or your best interests. Now, this is important. Don't be discouraged by this person who's trying to pick an argument or start an argument, pick a fight with you. The universe is telling you to have faith at this time. And I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. I, and I said this 
a couple of times during the Zodiac monthly readings for September. Your prayers are manifesting, it says. Remain positive and follow your guidance. So the argument that you turn away from for some of you is going to spark, as Abraham would say, a new rocket of desire, perhaps for you to call someone else from your past and discuss things. Now, I don't know what that means. It just sort of flew out of my mouth. So for those of you that that resonated with, you will know. Send Put, me, put a comment in the comment section, and I'd like to hear from you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Many blessings.